So like I said, um, I uh, recently bought this antenna for my beach go bag. And what I ended up doing was going a different route with that, with the uh, Reliance antenna and fed but realized that even though the size of the antenna itself is a little bit bigger than the bag I was going with, it was still one of those antennas that I wanted to give a fair shakedown. And I have to say, I was quite impressed with its construction, ease of setup. What I wanted to do in this was just kind of give you guys an overview on the antenna itself, let you understand what uh, is uh, available out there uh, for alternatives. This is a linked dipole antenna so you are going to get the benefits of multi-band it is a great kit there are plenty of reviews out there on the earlier versions of the three and um, the, even the second version they've done another update to this and i'm going to go over some of those highlights and points but if you could also at the same time um, make sure you uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, definitely give this a thumbs up because it helps the YouTube algorithm, you know, get this uh, content in front of uh, people that uh, may not know about ham radio or, um, you know, are in the market for looking for a great antenna. So let's dive in here. So let's get into the review here. I purchased this antenna outright. So any of the opinions are of my own um, as I purchased this with my own money. Let's just kind of put that out front. Initially it was purchased for my beach go bag. And what I found out was that the antenna itself size wise was a little bit bigger of a footprint than what I was looking for. Not to say that from a soda beams perspective, which is primarily for lightweightness, and uh, packability that the antenna wouldn't have worked. But in my case, I really wanted to just, you know, uh, go a different route and I may circle back around that, but I wanted to put the antenna uh, to its test. So I did this review separately. What I really found out was, is that I was pretty surprised by its performance. Um, first and foremost, this antenna is the band hopper four. And what that means, it denotes four uh, separate bands in comparison to say the band hopper three. It's got 20, 30, 40, and 80. Uh, you can use 12 and 15 uh, if your radio's got a tuner built in. And in my tests, I uh, initially only tested on 20 sideband, but the other bands are readily available and easy to uh, get set up uh, with the linking capabilities based uh, with the alligator clips. Like I said, it's a linked dipole and uh, it has sections that you can link and unlink uh, with uh, their connecting alligator clips. The clips themselves are um, held together with plastic um, strain relief. So uh, mounting them and unmounting them uh, will take uh, you know, a little bit of time, um, but we'll cover that a little bit farther down in the review. The overall antenna itself uh, will cover uh, or support up to 125 watts for both sideband CW and data. Um, it's super lightweight. I am very impressed with the antenna in terms of its overall size, but at the same time, it's only about 21 ounces. It has everything built into it. So your antenna, if it has, uh, the only thing you really need to bring with you out in the field is a good seven meter or 10 meter um, mast. And uh, the antenna has a little hole in the center uh, where the one-to-one -one, uh, ballon is. And you just slide it over the top of the antenna. And the antenna then just is held together by a third support itself from uh, the antenna kit as well that's included. Um, the antenna overall is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a very well designed antenna, like I said before. You basically just need to set up your mast on the ground and then you connect the center section of the antenna to the mast itself by threading it through the, the simple little hole. Then you extend um, the antenna legs out both sides. Uh, you pull them in just a little bit for slack for when you actually um, elevate the pole. And then once you get the pole uh, stood up straight, uh, there is a third support line um, that masks um, the pole to the ground. Everything in the pack is fully included. So you get the stakes, the kite winders, um, all of the components, uh, and it has a great BNC connector built in. So literally it's a, a plug and play type antenna. There's no tuning needed. You don't have to go through the process of um, you know, making it resonant. It is, like I said, resonant on 20, 30, 40, and 80. So right out of the box, you can uh, you know, get on the bands you like to play on. Antenna construction itself, I am very impressed with. Uh, Soda Beams has been around for a while. Uh, they are a great uh, company, uh, have a lot of great products, uh, but it, 
they also have been engineering for a while. They get out and they use their products in the field. So everything that you get within that Soda Beams Bandhopper 4 is um, been tested over and over again in the field by many people and been reiterated over and over again. And you can see that in the quality of the build, you can see that in the design um, and obviously in the construction. The kite winders, um, I love them. My favorite feature out of the antenna itself is that you have the built-in um, tie straps for being able to, uh, after you wind and unwind your um, antenna wire, you have the straps built in and they, they're basically bungee cord style straps so they, they you know, secure right to the antenna. You don't have to worry about losing anything. Um, so that is always a plus. I would say though, when you're first setting up the antenna, the one thing you want to be wary of is that you might have to try it a couple of times to get used to how you guide your wires, um, you know, uh, each of the leg out um, because it took me a little bit of a time to, to get used to getting that center pole set up and configured. Um, so it was standing vertically um, because a lot of antennas that you've seen system wise may have that fishing loop at the top and then you've got some strain on the antenna, you know, uh, like others have reviewed this antenna, they've noted that that same thing is that, that, that plus of having that little hole where the you know uh, center section just slides right over your mast uh, there's no strain on your mast and everything is uh, you know almost in essence self-supporting by its design so um, is there anything or what do I like about the antenna I should say uh, the band hopper 4 I like I said super lightweight 21 ounces and very easy to deploy once you get the system down and understand how to get it up and running um, it packs away very easily again that's a soda beams antenna they are designed for those folks that like to hike um, and um, get deployed very quickly. So the weight in uh, design and packability is, uh, is always important for that type of stuff. It's got four bands that it's totally resonant out of the box on, so no tuning required. And then I love, I am, and everyone has raved about this and I, I'm on the same boat, is that I love the drawstring bag. Um, they have gone the above and beyond level of even creating a stake pocket on the inside so your stakes don't bounce around um, and they are all you know very much well tucked away and uh, makes everything very much well put together. I can't you know stress that enough. Question I have, you know, other questions I have is like, what what things do I think need to be improved about it? And these are nitpicky things because I, you'd be, if I didn't have anything, you know, to point out an antenna, you know, what type of review it would be, I guess. But the two nitpicky things that I I, I kind of um, keyed off of one is that they have a little Velcro strap at the top that holds the three kite winders together, um, like the the Velcro in general. I am one of the types of people that unless it's physically attached to something uh, permanently, I end up losing it. And lo and behold, I was out in the field and I lost that little Velcro strap and had to you know, go into my Velcro kit and make another one. If it was maybe either like the stretchable uh, bungee cords that they have on each of the kite winders that they could put around that to keep it permanent, that might be a, an upgrade or using a um, bongo tie in its place would probably you know, be just as efficient and you know lightweight so that would be one thing and then the other piece would be that maybe the alligator clips could be a little larger or you know if there was a way to remove the covers off of them um, because my big sausage fingers and trying to hold the two alligator clips together um, they tend to just kind of slip through the, the fingers and, and you know trying to get them to clip together um, was a little bit of a challenge but nothing too big for um, you know, most people I'm sure to be able to put together. Those are just, again, small nitpicky things, um, but the antenna overall is well, well worth the money. And for about $125, it is a great antenna uh, that's not uh, including shipping uh, to, to have in your antenna farm. This is Kilo A Oscar, Kilo A Oscar, special event call sign for youth on the ear, QRZ. And one JUR, QRP. Uh, QRP station, come again. November 1, Japan Uniform Romeo, N1, JUR. Hey there, Eric. Good afternoon. November 1, Julia Uniform Romeo, uh, URP. You're 5 1 in Michigan. The name here is Joshua, QSL. QSL, QSL there, Joshua. Yeah, just uh, running 5 watts here in uh, November Hotel, New Hampshire, testing out a new antenna uh, and uh, glad to make the contact there at 5 watts. Hello uh, there, Eric, and uh, hey, thanks for uh, all the POTA contacts, too. Uh, my personal call sign here is November 8th, Juliet, Juliet, Mike, and I've worked you out multiple times at a park. So, hey, thanks for stopping by today. Hope you have a good rest of the day and a great Christmas, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL there. Yeah, glad to work you as well. Uh, not at a POTA park right now, but uh, testing out a new antenna. 
and uh, you know having some fun here as well uh, playing with uh, FX4CR so uh, good to work you and uh, thanks again for uh, you know coming back to me and uh, I'll let you get onto it and uh, say seven threes is anyone you are you faded out there a bit but hey I got you in the log and that's all that matters hey thanks uh, for stopping by again 73 so the last question is, would I buy this again? You bet I would. I always love a simple, great antenna. I'm a big fan of NFED antennas um, when it comes to wire antennas. Uh, and you know, the simpler, the better in terms of getting them set up and being able to get uh, on the bands quickly is important, obviously, when you're doing a lot of POTAs. Um, and even, obviously, I, I haven't done a soda physically yet, but when I start doing sodas, that's gonna be just as critical because I'm sure my first few sodas, I'm gonna be quite winded. If you found this helpful um, or interesting at all, you know, make sure you give me a thumbs up to do that because the YouTube algorithm can get this content out in front of other people that might be looking for antenna reviews. Um, and uh, as always, I'm Eric N1JUR and hope you enjoyed this. 7-3.